around behind. Waist locks Lawler. Lawler. Trying to fend his way out of it. King, nice. Went for a single leg. Bockwinkle was faked out. He waist locked him, but he takes Lawler over. Was going into a wrist lock. Head scissors and out of it. Back to the feet again. Very quick action from these large men. Winkle's coming in at about 245, Lawler at uh, 234. Beverly Hills, California. Standing side head around behind with the leg, pitches him forward and really goes to bend it up in that hammer position. Nick Bockwinkle hanging on tight to the King's arm. up off the canvas. Nick still hanging on to the hammerlock. He uses the swinging broad arm and it's legal. Referee looking right at it. Double Lawler up, got out of the side headlock and he once again straddles Lawler with that hammer hooked in very firmly. Lock. Goes top with it. Sometimes you can paralyze a man's arm to the point that he's not exactly sure when you are wheeling it around like that. Lawler was unable to make a move. Bockwinkle did it very slick. Now he's got the top wrist lock on him and hooks him. Boy. He's trying to weaken Lawler. despite what Bockwinkle says. Bockwinkle may, in fact, be a superior scientific wrestler. He doesn't have any more stamina, no more determination than the King does. Takes Lawler back down. Crowd really excited about Lawler powering out and a little disappointed. Winkle won the title from Burn Gagne. Lost it to Gagne back and won it back again. Burns had it. I don't know. I think it's about seven years, is my recollection. He lost it a very brief period of time. He lost it in Comiskey Park in Chicago when he wrestled a uh, very large German, Baron Von Roschke. But he later, a, I believe back in Comiskey, won it back. It was either there or in Milwaukee. I'm not really certain exactly the location. In any event, he won it back and he has held it against every kind of challenger. Bockwinkle hanging in with the arm of Jerry to King Lawler. Nine minutes, 20.
20 seconds into the action. It's a one fall 60 minute bout. Lawler powering up off the floor. And I will tell you, it has been a very clean match. Lawler took him over. But Bachwinkle held on and was able to hold his advantage. No bones about it. As a matter of fact, we had him uh, on a championship wrestling program as a guest commentator. Finally, after six years, we got him to appear on the uh, program, and uh, he made no bones about it. He does what it takes to uh, keep the title. Somebody stands between him and keeping that title, brother, you can expect it all to let loose. Bachwinkle will wrestle you, boy, and he'll wrestle your tights right off of you. You better have staying power when you're getting in there with the champion. And that's exactly what Lawler has. Determination, tremendous recuperative ability. Bockwinkle really giving that arm a fit. He's had to think about six minutes, hasn't he, Randy? Something like that. We're ten and a half minutes in. And he first, in one form or another, slapped that... Uh, wrist lock on. He had it behind him in a hammer position. Ultimately took it up top and that's where he's had it for the last few minutes. Wow! Trying to get Lawler stirred up. Jerry again trying to power his way out. He's up top straight up and down. Winkle reversing it. Lawler almost went down. And this time, Bockwinkle felt himself slipping, reached around behind and grabbed the hair, and the referee was not in a position to see it, but I think he gathers from the crowd exactly what happened. Jerry proved a point to him. He powered it up. Bockwinkle reversed it. He powered it up again, and I believe Bockwinkle felt that he was fading, and he reached up and grabbed a hair and pulled Lawler back down on the mat. But he is still hanging on to that wrist lock. 12 minutes into the action with 48 minutes to go. the Mid-South Coliseum brought their lunch. They expected it. This was not going to be a quick victory or defeat for Jerry Lawler. And Bockwinkle once again holds on. Look at Lawler. but Bachwinkle again hanging in there with it. Waller back on the feet and throws Bachwinkle a third time. He's loose. The battle action continues. We're going to have to take time out. We'll be back to join the action in just one moment. the leg is on the rope very easily. Jerry had him too close to the ropes. With a pounding right hand again, Bockwinkle is down. Referee backs Lawler up, gives him a little lecture. That will not stop the King from using that right. Asking Bachwinkle, do you want to give it up? Nope. But a 
if he can get the referee to ask that, it saves him a few extra seconds. He can rest and recuperate, and that's what Bachwinkel, KG champion, is doing. Moved in with a knee on Lawler. Third one puts Jerry down. 25 minutes into it, 35 minutes to wrestle. the top turnbuckle. Ooh. Nick bounces two knees, covers Lawler, count of one. And Lawler gets out of it at the count of one. right hand to the midsection of the king. Bockwinkle now covers him up again. One. And Jerry kicks off right at the two mark. Missing a big right hand. Lawler flying press. And Bockwinkle. Look at Bachwinkle, you'll see that where that strength come from. He has powerful shoulders, very big through these shoulders. Count of five. Lawler up on his knees. Here comes Nick. And Bachwinkle bouncing the head of Lawler off the table. He hops back up in the ring. Bockwinkle not in any great shape himself, but Lawler right at the moment in worse shape. Bockwinkle slammed his head on the table. Here he comes again. This time on the ring apron. He's rolled back in the ring. Bockwinkle's trying to get him in and get a pin. Rolls him over. Count of one, count of two, and Lawler kicked out. That's where Bockwinkle will be screaming, local home cooking. He didn't count fast enough. All are blasted by the right hand of Nick Bockwinkle. King bounced on that top turnbuckle. Referee backing him up because Lawler is technically still on the ropes. And another shot. Lawler getting that second win. Plants a foot. Then a right. Another one. Series of right hands. He still doesn't completely have it all back. But let me tell you, he had enough to stop the champion. Winkle's head off the top turnbuckle. With both hands, he slams the back of Bockwinkle's head into that turnbuckle. The king coming back hard on the champion. Whips him across the ring, slams him with a right. He falls back into the turnbuckle. Jerry Calhoun. Lo 
but here it rattled right through this Coliseum. He's on the concrete floor. Lawler coming up to the middle of the ring. Bockwinkle drops off with an elbow. There's a 30-minute call. We're halfway through the time factor. Calhoun back in the ring. Count of one, count of two, and Lawler throws Bockwinkle out. ahead of the champion right off that table. Again, Nick Bockwinkle slammed into the timer's table. Referee trying to back him up in a corner into the ring. Bockwinkle is glassy-eyed. And Lawler pounds him in there. That's the only place he's going to get a pin. Jerry, you need to go to the edge of the ring as Bockwinkle uses the rope. Oh, he's too smart. Mm. Lawler using all of his strength to throw that 245 back in the ring, and Bockwinkle too close to it. And Bockwinkle gouging at the eyes of Jerry Lawler. The referee warning him about that, but Lawler is hurt. head on the top rope. He runs the eyes right down the ring. Bockwinkle hooks a right. Rights and left. Slam Lawler said. He's picking the tempo up. The champion trying to make this a do or die. And here comes Lawler. trying to pull Lawler out of there. Uh-oh. Lawler throws the referee down. Goes back to Bockwinkle. Again, Calhoun is down, and Lawler's on Bockwinkle. This time, Bockwinkle slams the referee. I don't know whether he was swinging at Lawler or not. The King falls on him. still on the canvas and the dream comes true Lawler the winner he finally got Bockwinkle in one of the most furious attacks we've ever seen on the champion Lawler beats him what is it? Hey, what happened? Hey, man, you disqualified him. Referee Jerry Calhoun has stated that Nick Bockwinkle was disqualified for hitting the referee. Lawler wins it, but by disqualification. Oh. What a rugged blow to Lawler. He had him for the three count, no two ways about it. But the referee, what was the time on that thing? 32.53. The referee, Lawler kicks Bach. 
Arquegel in the face and grabs the belt. for a three count. The referee says yes, he did win it, but by disqualification.